Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a review for TrashyDiva.com and links to everything you could possibly need or imagine will be in the description box as always. Mostly I'm doing this review because when I mentioned on Twitter that I was doing an order from this site, a bunch of you were like, let us know how it goes because a lot of this stuff looks good and you were like, I want to know if I want to order and hey, if I'm ordering anyway, I might as well do a review on it to help you guys out. So I came across this site like a couple days before Christmas and see what happened was, okay, <laughs> you know how when you're Christmas shopping, you always kind of accidentally come across things that you want for yourself <laughs> and then you're like, oh, well, like, I can't buy it because it's, it's almost Christmas and it's the spirit of giving or something. But basically, I was like curled up on the couch with my sister, like enjoying the holidays, and I'm browsing through Pinterest, and I see this dress, and I was like, oh, look at this dress, it's so pretty. And usually, I don't like do the click through for the source, um, because when something is beautiful, nine times out of ten, it is gonna be so many money so many and I will not be able to afford it and it will only serve to make me sad so I don't usually look but for some reason I thought oh, I'll just go see where this is from just so that I know and I clicked through the link and this dress was from trashydiva.com and I was like huh because I'd never heard of this site before and most of the like pinup style sites I'm pretty, I'm not, I want to say like I know about all of them, but I know about a lot of them because like that's the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. So I was like, oh, a new site? A site that I don't know about? What is this? Now, I didn't order it for myself because it was Christmas and I was like, shouldn't buy myself anything, but I kind of put it in the little, in the little bank in my head. And at Christmas, I didn't get any clothes for Christmas. So I was like, hey, it would be okay if I bought myself something, right? Sure. These are the lies I tell myself in order to justify purchases. So <laughs> the day after New Year's, I ordered uh, a dress and a pair of stockings from Trashy Diva. So it was January 2nd. I put my order in and I was very excited about it. And it arrived on the 10th of January. So a little, a little over a week for shipping. But to me, that's super reasonable because I live in Canada and like... We are used to waiting one or two or three or twelve weeks for things. So, like a week? Sure. That's good shipping. I was very impressed with the shipping time. So what I ordered was the Honey Teal Poplin dress and a pair of um, Leg Avenue stockings just because I wanted them. Because like, why not? I do this thing where I like look through the whole site, eat, like just in case there's something else that I want. Because I'm like, oh well, I'm already paying for shipping. I may as well. Right before I clicked checkout, I had this little thought in my mind where I was like, hmm, I should go see if there's any like coupons online. So I checked out the Trashy Diva blog and it turns out they had a coupon code that ended that day. And I was like, oh, I felt very proud of myself. Like, like I somehow did it. Like it was somehow my achievement that I made this happen. So the dress that I ordered was $108 and the stockings were $12. And then I paid $21 for shipping. Now that is a little, mm, I mean, it's not the best. It's not the best, but it could be worse, so I was just like, well, whatever. But then, like I said, I had the coupon code, right? And the coupon code took $24 off of my purchase. So like I said, it arrived on January 10th. Really quick shipping. However, I got dinged for a $50 brokerage fee? Which to me is like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's kind of like customs or something. I don't know. I don't know. But like $50? Mm. So I was like a little bit sour. I was feeling a little sour because, honey, that's not $50. Like that's half the cost of the dress. $50? But I was still, I was still kind of like hopeful. I was like, well, if the, sh if the dress is amazing, then everything will be okay. All right? Because it'll be cool. I'll just suck it up. I'll just, you know, to, you know, sometimes you get hit with weird shipping stuff. I'll just take it for the team. So this is the package that it came in and inside there was um, just a billing info sheet and also a return sheet. The dress itself was just wrapped in plastic which you can see I tore into like 
a rabid wolverine because, um, yep, that's, I don't need a reason. And as well, the stockings right here. This, to me, is very adequate. It's very, very adequate. Very, very much, you know. But the, it didn't really feel like the package was at all personalized or special. And I mean, that's not a big deal. It really isn't. That's just me being picky at that point. But for me, if I'm, I don't know, it, it does add to my shopping experience if it is in some way special. Do you know what I mean? If it doesn't just feel like a machine put it in a bag for me. Like maybe a note, or maybe the packaging is interesting, or maybe it's wrapped in tissue, or just something that I feel like, oh, it's like a present that I'm opening for myself. It's the best kind of present. The one I bought for myself, you know? So it's like not a big thing. It's not a big thing. It's just me being picky that the packaging was adequate and not really personalized. So here's the dress. I have it on a hanger, not in the bag with the tights because <laughs> I'm not a ruffian. Just ignore this weird sun thing that's happening. Just, it's fine. It's winter, there's a weird lighting situation. I just, just ignore it, it's fine. As you can see, it is a very beautiful turquoise color. <laughs> and, okay, I'll be totally honest with you. I bought this because it kind of reminded me of a dress that Giselle wears in Enchanted that she makes out of curtains. Don't worry about it. If you know, though, what I'm talking about, you'll probably agree. So there are a lot of things that I really love about this dress. I really love this situation in the front here with all the like ruching. I think that that's really pretty. I really love at the back, it's kind of got like this really interesting little Peter, not, not Peter Pan collar. What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe it is Peter Pan collar. I don't know. This thing that's happening here, I think that that's real cute. It has pockets. It has pockets. I'm so here for the pockets. And they're deep. You can get a phone or something. I'm so here for the pockets. However, that's kind of where the really good stuff ends for me. Because actually, I'm not that happy with this dress. Number one, when I pulled it out of the bag, I noticed there were like weird white marks by the armpit. I'll put a picture in here so you can know what I'm talking about. So at first I thought, is this a deodorant mark? Like, has someone tried on my dress? You know? And then I, like, thought about it for a minute, and I was like, no, this is probably dressmaker's chalk. But, like, if I'm paying $108 for a dress, it should not come with dressmaker's chalk on it. So, first, like, that was the first thing I saw when I opened this up, and I was kind of like, really? Mmm. And, yeah, it's not a big thing, it's gonna wash out, but it just kind of put a little, little drop in my impression pot that I was like, mmm. Hmm. One of the big issues for me with this dress is the material. Now, I know on the website it says, like, you know, it's a cotton whatever. And I, I, I knew that ordering it. But even so, I guess I kind of figured because I do have a lot of dresses that are like a heavier cotton twill kind of, that I thought it'll be fine. But let me just say, I don't think that this material is at all suited for this style of dress because this dress is very fitted and you'll see when I put it on and show you what I'm talking about in that it's a very structural fit especially in the um, upper bust and waist here and this kind of fabric doesn't have the weight that lends to fitting properly this kind of dress that was worded a little weird but you know what I mean um, it hangs a little funny because the fabric isn't thick enough, which would have been fine if it was lined, but it is not lined. And I feel like in that way, it really did let the dress down because if it was lined, it, it could have just saved it. But like, I feel like it, it had so much potential to be awesome, but I love the color. I wear a lot of turquoise. It looks good with my hair. Okay, so I put my hair up uh, just so that you can see the dress properly. So this is what it looks like on. Now just for reference, um, I ordered a size 4 and my measurements are, I have a 34 inch bust and a 25.5 waist and on the website it says that this dress goes up to a 25.5 waist so I figured that I was going to be pushing it on this dress. I figured that this dress was just going to be a little bit too snug and then I would just kind of have to roll with it. But as it turns out, it is actually just a bit too big. and. I mean, I'll, obviously I'm very, I love this cut. 
I love this bust line. It's very princessy. And, but, like, I'm sure you can tell, as I was saying before, this fabric weight does not lend itself to this kind of cut because we have this, like, weird puckering thing happening here. Like, I don't really quite understand why, though. I'm gonna have to take it in because there's no way I'm gonna send this back and pay, pay more to give this dress back to them. And also, I don't really know that a size down would really be much better. I feel like it would just, you know, be a little bit too tight maybe, whereas this is just a little bit too big. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm in that kind of like iffy in between sizes place. But I really uh, don't think that this weight of fabric, at least without a lining, lends it itself to this style. Because there's like this weird, there's this weird like, what is, this is not okay. I don't, why are you the way that you are? I really do like the length and like I said before, the pockets are obviously a really great feature. But myself, like, I don't think I'm going to wear this until I can figure out what the hell I'm doing with it. Because... I'm not going to wear it as it is, it's, it's with especially this situation happening here. Like, this needs to be solved. Um, it's going to have to have a lining or something put in because I just, I don't see myself wearing it as is. Which is a shame because other than that, it's, this, the cut is very beautiful. Um, obviously I love the color. I don't know. It, it needs thicker, it needs thickness. And this kind of lightweight cotton is just not doing it for me. Like, I just... What is, what is happening here? Like, no. Whoosh. So, final thoughts. Would I order from this site again myself? No. No, I don't think so. Because the shipping and the brokerage fees, uh, not for me. I don't really care for that. Uh, final thoughts on just the dress would not really recommend $108 for yes it's handmade but in terms of quality I mean I've paid less for dresses from mod cloth that have been far nicer um, I do love this cut so much I feel like maybe it would be different if I could go in store maybe and like try stuff on and see what I like but for me $108 for a dress that you know is this kind of material and isn't even lined I don't personally feel like that's a purchase I would make again. So I, I don't think I would recommend them, at least not for Canadians, possibly international. Just speaking to my own experience of, you know, sh shipping costs, I mean, I effectively paid nearly $200 for this dress. And I don't think that this dress is worth $108. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. For me, it's kind of a miss. I feel like if you live in the States and you have the opportunity to go to their actual retail store, it's likely that you might have a different experience. Because when I mentioned on Twitter that I was ordering from this site, a lot of you who said that you loved them have been to their retail store. So it's probably maybe a different experience to shopping online. And that's, you know, I would love to go, but I live here. So it's kind of a little bit trickier for me. So yeah, even though there were a lot of things that I do love about this it, for me it's a miss and I probably won't be ordering again it's kind of a bummer too I was really pumped I was like really pumped about this and now it's like a thing that I have to figure out but anyway they can't all be perfect right so I hope that this was helpful to you guys I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a great day thank you for watching bye